Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today on Suki Nihon, we're looking at episode four of season three of Steven Universe Barn Mates. This episode takes place right after the last one, where, well, Lapis is being horrible to Peridot. Peridot's all like, I'm new, I'm changed, I'm good now, let me, let me get in there and like, tell you things and be all like, nice. In fact, she's trying her darndest to be friends with Lapis and Lapis is just like, Lapis is having none of it. She's all like, ugh, ugh, this person. And Peridot is, um, it, this entire episode is mostly just Peridot making several attempts to make Lapis, you know, to break the ice with Lapis, like bringing her a card or a gift. And then eventually, she just kind of gets so frustrated with Lapis that Peridot's like, well, what do you want me to do? And Lapis, who's spent um, pretty much like several months trapped underwater in what is essentially a, uh, mm, in a, an abusive relationship analogy, tells her to leave. Does Lapis is all, you know what? Blah. And Steve's like, you know, you should probably give Peridot a chance on this because she's trying really hard and being friends with someone is a two-way street. You can't just, like, it requires an effort from both people. Anyways, he tells her, you know, oh, you've scared her away, you know, now she's never going to come back, but she does. In fact, she comes running back because Peridot is being chased by a homeworld vessel, a big floating red thing with eye, with an eye and a thingy that tracks you. Anyways, they run from that into the barn, um, and then Lapis just rather incapacitates the, um, the vessel by like slapping it into the ground with her awesome water bending powers. And um, the other crystal gems show up and at the end of the episode, the hatch on the vessel opens up and we see another ruby, one with a, it's ruby in its eye, emerge from the vessel and then roll credits. And that's pretty much the episode. That's what happens. Not a lot really happened in this one, except like, it really makes you like Peridot a lot. Lapis? I, I mean, I like these two characters, and I like their voice actors and all that, and I like what they're doing. I, this works out pretty well. I mean, I like these characters, but wow, Lapis comes off as being um, an unsympathetic bully toward Peridot, which goes, shows, goes to show how far these are from each other, like how far they've come. And kind of by the end of the episode, um, Peridot and Lapis kind of have a quote, kind of an understanding where Lapis asks Peridot if she's okay. And you, can, you have kind of a little bit of a, a breakthrough here. It's like Lapis is gonna try. That's pretty much what happens in this episode. It's an okay episode. Uh, kind of anticlimactic after last week's um, last week's little uh, whole new world sequence or the previous two episodes. Not a lot happens in this episode. In fact, it's kind of boring. I thought it was one of the weaker episodes of this season. Which, considering there's only four episodes in this season so far, that's not saying too much. It's just saying, hey, this is the weakest episode of this, but it's still a good episode. I liked it. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comments below. Um, Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh, you might want to tell me what you think the uh, rubies are here to do. I already know because spoilers and leaks and I can't help myself when it comes to leaks and spoilers. So sorry about that. So I already know, but if you haven't yet, I haven't seen that yet, let me know in the comments below what you think might happen. Okay? And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.